welcome back to my channel. My name is Karin Odermatt and today we are going to look at the thing which I really like. It's a transmission. So it goes from the gazelle with a bent front leg into the angel. So it's not too hard, but in the same time, one, if you want to release your hands and make it smooth, it's anyway some work. But before we start, make sure you subscribe to my channel. It makes a lot. You do me a big favor if you press that button below. Other than that, leave a comment below, give me a thumb up if you like what you see. Any question you have, I'm really happy to answer it because sometimes a tutorial is not one-to-one, -one. it's not so personal, so something in my tutorial might not cover what you are having a problem with or a difficulty which is not mentioned in the tutorial. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask them and if I can help, I am happy to help. I will explain the first part right down here because once I'm up there, I will be a little bit with the back to you so it's easier if we explain it here. So you have to choose which leg you want to have closer to your chest in the gazelle. That will be the leg which afterwards is going to be behind you straight in the angel. So it's kind of a leg switch. It's from front to the back basically. So this is something you should consider. Also, if you have a stronger arm and you feel like, well, you would like to have that the arm which is gonna hold in the angel, your opposite leg has to be closer to your chest in the gazelle. Then again, you should try to work on everything on both sides. And even if it's not the same, it doesn't feel the same. It helps a lot and it will even your body out instead of doing everything just on one side. If you need a tutorial for the gazelle by itself, I do have a tutorial for it where I do explain everything from the exact positioning to how to have the legs and how to be with your body. So if you want to check that out first, go check it out. Other than that, some of the things I will also explain up here. Make sure that you are sitting sidewards already when you are rigging yourself up for this one. And like I said before, leg, which is going to be bent in front in the gazelle, you have to be with your chest in front of the hoop because the leg will go here in the back. So you're going with your left hand, it is for me, sliding down the hoop and placing it about here, thumb up. The other hand will join on the same side. Your chest is in the front of the hoop and you will slowly find the middle. So this is really important. You know that with the cell, you have to be in the middle with your body. It makes it much easier for finding the placement. And then you will kind of slide further down with your body and place your leg, your knee towards the hoop. Here, if you want to, you can first like grab like this, make it more comfortable or more stable. But eventually you will let go this hand, you will let go the other hand and you will come down into a hanging position straightening both legs. For continuing, both your hands will go back up, thumb towards your hip on one side of the hip, thumbs toward the hip on the other side of the hip. You will straighten your front leg, straight forward, and then release your back leg. You can bend it and slowly straighten your arms sliding down. In the same time, releasing the hand, which is the same like the leg on top, and slide down into a angel. You can bend your leg, take it closer to your leg. You could even grab it into a split. To come out, bend both legs, place them back here. Now I'm a bit sideways, come into a knee hang. And from there, you can proceed however you want. This is already the entire movement. It's not extremely hard, but I find it a nice and interesting way to come from the gazelle down into the angel. And it's always nice to connect moves. It's not just important that you have lots of moves and hard tricks. It's also important that you have things which are useful in flows, which are looking nice and which you can play with. So make sure that you really push your front knee into the hoop. That's number one, which you have to think about when you do the gazelle. The second thing is that both thumbs inside because you will need that grip afterwards for the angel. So make sure you grab in the right way. Thumbs towards pointing towards the back, both close to your hips. With time, eventually you might not need that arm where the leg is. Like if I have my leg in the gazelle in the front, that hand you might not need with time. That's something you can play around with as well. And yeah, I will show it to you one more time from a different angle. I will put it on spin. And other than that, I can recommend that you wear some knee pads in the beginning, the outside of your knee of the leg, which is first in the front and then in the back of the angel. You might scratch it a little bit and as well the foot. So have some 
leg warmer or something which you can put on so you can try it more often otherwise after two three times you might be sore then well i hope to see your try of it tag me if you do it you find me on instagram it's karin odermatt coach and thank you so much for being here thank you for watching and see you next wednesday for a new tutorial <laughs>